I got a few key topics that you guys don't want to miss. What's going on everyone, Silver's here. As a new YouTube channel and a new to YouTube, it means the world to me. Let's keep growing together. Now let's get started with top five topics that I think of Rainbow Six Siege. When Rainbow Six Siege came out in December 1st, 2015, it was a good experience. There was a big community growing from the start. I know that when I started playing, I just fell in love with the feel of the game. Don't get me wrong, it's a big change from Black Ops. But to see a group of people come together for the love of the first person shooting game like you guys, I just can't believe it. Now let's get started. The first topic is the graphics. From the beginning of 2015, the graphics were, let's say, not so bright. It was dark. It was not that good. But the game was awesome. It was, it was pretty good. Now, let's move on to... Topic two, the pro esports tournament was probably the first ever in 2016 on the Xbox One with Excellence Gaming at PAC East. When I started watching the videos, when I started, you know, watching them and, and seeing them come together to play and as a team and communicate and keep growing is a good a good start you know they didn't know what was going on they just knew that they had a win and also with the fifty thousand dollar u.s prize pool so that's good you know determination to make sure that you win now let's move on to topic three the operators when rainbow six first came out you barely had any selection of usage of operators you were just limited in the beginning with when you're level level one you know more or less you have to be recruits that are actually not that bad i mean you can't add attachments you can't change up much but you can change up your main you can change your secondary and your equipment of grenades flashes smokes and so on etc that's a lot the first operas that basically came out year one season one are the British, basically known as SAS, the German, known as GSG-9, and also the Russians, and also the French, that are GIGN. Each of these four operas per unit split between attackers and defenders. You know, it's, it, it, it's a pretty cool uh, environment that the people of Ubisoft came out with, Rainbow Six Siege, and just you know, came out with this for the start. Topic four, the weapons and the gadgets. You know, how do they come up with the the gadgets to uniquely play on each individual operator? You know, with Bandit, Blitz, with uh, Glass, Frost, Buck, Blackbeard, and so on. You know, it's, it's pretty amazing that they come up with new ideas for operators, for the weapons and gadgets of their use. It's it's pretty cool that you have options to use and, and that they keep evolving the, the environment and the gameplay. You know, the weapons, you know, they come out with SMGs. They come out with sniper rifles, AR kind of weapons that, you know, shotguns that are good for close range and so on. You know, I think that the the weapons that they put on these operators and gadgets are probably the best fit for them. Uh, half of these operators are based on r real team force teams out in the world. So it's it's pretty awesome that they in invented a way where real life operator uh, team forces out there are in this game. Topic five, the final. The the overall aspect that I'm gonna say here in topic five is that with the feel of the game, with the community of love with the first person shooting game, is it's it's 
it's pretty cool that a lot of people like to come together, play this game, evolve with the game since the beginning of time. Not the beginning of time, but the game, the beginning of Rainbow Six Siege. Pretty cool feel that people come together and you know you can make friends, you could enjoy a good game of Rainbow Six Siege. When I first discovered this game, it was let's say between 2016 and 2017. I went to GameStop, you know, I had <laughs> limited money to spend on a game and I came across Rainbow Six Siege. That was probably 10 bucks. I was like, what's the worst going to happen? It's a cheap used game. You know, I played it, I did research, I discovered that this game actually has been out longer than I suspected. I thought this game was going to be done. I thought that it wasn't going to do any more updates and this is going to be a game that I could pass within a week and that's it. You know, maybe even just return it or just keep it, put it under multiple other games. Forget about it. When I discovered that the community of Rainbow Six Siege came out with this game and it keeps evolving, it's it's mind blowing. You know, when, when I first played it, I was new when I first started evolving and and trying to get better at this game. I kept dying, like any uh, any any other person, let's say. Hopefully, when when I put the game in level one, recruit. You know, no aim attachments. No, uh, let's say, no no gadgets that could help you in tough situations. I would just enjoying the scenery, getting the feel for the game, just relaxing. And then you get those type of people that know what they're doing, that has been playing since the game first came out, that they know the spawn piece. They know where you're gonna spawn before you know where you're gonna spawn. You know, they wait for you the second you get out of the spawn point. You get out, you die, and then you look at the kill feed, and you see that they have a weird looking angle on you of the doorway, the window. It's it's incredible how people evolve in these situations and games, you know, that they actually made a pro esports game out of it. You know, it's it's pretty cool. So after a while, hopefully, not only me, you guys did the same and research on YouTube how to aim better, how to get better. Where can I find this specific uh, angle? How can I get a good angle for high kill streak and and so on? And let me say it helped me with my gaming experience from the beginning. In the beginning was more like a love hate that I wanted to get good. In the beginning, I wanted to enjoy the scenery and I just enjoy the game, but then. There's people that are sweaty and then really just, you know, want to get that high kill streak. And you're just a noob that loves a game that's looking around. Christmas noob or birthday, you know, you get this game and you just start playing and they're killing you. And then wait, when I got better, it got more interesting. I, I started to love it more. It's a complete different environment from other first person shooting games, you know, the grappling game to the lean left and right to the surroundings, the maps, you know, they keep coming up with new and better map and names for the operators. Like, so far, possibly, that might come out in year four, season one, is Drone Hacker and Tracks. Like, that seems like a cool name to me. Let's see what kind of gadgets, what kind of weapons that they're going to be using when it comes out. Basically, here towards the end of the video, if you didn't click away yet, hopefully not, is that the Rainbow Six community is amazing. The, the, the developers and the CEO, you know, Ubisoft, came out with an excellent game that keeps evolving and updating. Who knows when it's ever going to end? They, they came out with a game that, that people love, that people are nail biting, edge of the couch, can't wait for the next update to come out because it's that good of a game. You know, who knew that a cheap game that started from 10 bucks started into an awesome experience.
minutes, in my opinion. That's gonna be it. If you guys have any topics, anything that you want, you just want to mention or, or just say, or if you just want to say hi, leave a comment. Below. If you guys like the channel, much appreciated. Consider subscribing. You won't regret it. I hope. Well, that's gonna be it, guys. See you in the comments below.